Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you are a regular eBay seller, I'm pretty sure you'll have had an encounter with a not so genuine buyer. Well, if you have, then I know exactly how you feel as I've had my fair share of disingenuous buyers and outright scammers try it on over the years. But the question is, how do you deal with these types of buyers to ensure you're not left out of pocket? And also, how do you deal with eBay to ensure that you are fully protected? Well, that's exactly what this video is all about. So get comfy, buckle up, and let's get this started. Check it out. Okay, so first off, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel. This channel is all about online reselling, so by subscribing, you'll be kept up to date of all my latest online reselling videos. Okay, so let's role play the scenario. You're an honest eBayer trying hard to make a living. You have a bunch of listings live and someone drops you a message about an item asking a lot of questions. I know, I hear you, there's nothing wrong with that. And you'd be damn right, there isn't anything wrong with that. However, the questions keep on coming and you notice this buyer has zero, one, two feedback, then they hit you with them. Can you ship it ASAP? What's the lowest you'll accept? Can you send it to a different address? Can you send it to a click and collect? Okay, so now the alarm bell should start to ring. Sound familiar? Well, that's exactly what's just happened to me, and I wanted to make this video to talk about what happened, how the buyer has tried to scam me, and what eBay did about it. So even though this buyer has totally ground my gears, I still have to conform to data protection, so I won't be mentioning any names, any eBay usernames or any addresses. But don't worry, everything's been noted and it's all been sent to eBay. So one of my eBay stores sells tech, and I have this guy messaging me excessively asking a bunch of questions, which after the 10th or 12th question, it all just becomes a bit sus. They wanted me to ship to a different address, then a click and collect address, and just the content of the messages just, to me, didn't feel right. They didn't sit right with me. Nevertheless, as a fair seller, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I accepted the offer. He paid for the item. We packed it up. We shipped it. I even upgraded the shipping to next day signed for, completely free of charge, because he told me he needed it real quick. The item was delivered. And then a few hours later, the message landed in my inbox I really hoped wouldn't land. And it was along the lines of, hey man, got the parcel, it felt light, but it wasn't damaged or opened. So I took it home, I opened it up, and there was no phone in there, just an empty box with bubble packing. How can eBay let you scam me so bad? I'm reporting you, I want my money back. And there it was. I kind of knew this was going to happen, but I really, really hoped it wouldn't. So we found ourselves in a position where the buyer claimed we had deliberately sent out an empty box with no phone inside, but there was no damage to the packaging, so he's basically calling us scammers. We contacted eBay immediately on chat to raise this as a fraudulent case. So just for the record, we run a six-figure eBay store with a 99.9% .9 positive feedback rating. We aren't scammers. All our packages are weighed, and the weight is printed on the labels. And we have proof of this when the parcels were scanned into the Royal Mail Hub and then a POD to show successful delivery. eBay advised us to report the buyer as fraudulent, which we did. eBay also said that they would report the buyer and we were told eBay would then take five days to investigate the case. Five days later, we contacted eBay for an update. They wouldn't give us an update, but they only said that no, they only said no return label would be issued. Two days later and You've guessed it, eBay issued a return label. So again, we called eBay, who now told us we would need to let the return run its course. But how could the buyer return something they claimed they had never received? We were assured that no refund would be made and that the buyer would have to provide a police report and that we were protected under seller protection for this exact scenario. But to be completely honest, my faith was kind of wearing thin. So we were waiting and waiting, a week passed, and yep, after the return label was issued, we received the return from the buyer. And we were clued up enough to actually video opening the package just for proof that we could send to eBay. And basically, this is what we received. So as you can see, the parcel is completely untampered with, it's fully sealed. So I cut it open, I open the box, and yep, you've guessed it, 
absolutely nothing in the box apart from our air sac which did contain the phone that we sent to the buyer. So again, another call to eBay to say that the buyer returned an empty box. They told us not to worry, do not refund the buyer. He would have five days to provide a police report and if he didn't provide that, then the case would be closed in our favour. Awesome. However, at this point, again, I was losing my faith with eBay. Things they said wouldn't happen were happening, like the label being sent out, the product being sent back or not being sent back. And this wasn't a small amount of money. So we waited five days and we woke on day six to a lovely email from eBay to say that they had found in the buyer's favour and refunded him the full amount. A case was opened at 12.14 a.m. by eBay and closed at 12.29 a.m. with a full refund issued to the buyer. So in summary, this guy had bought a phone from us, we shipped it, he opened it, he took the phone out, he then claimed the box was empty. He opened an eBay return case, eBay sent him a free shipping label, he sent an empty box back to us, he got a £200 refund because the tracking showed that it was received by us and he kept the phone. Tell me where the fairness is in all of that. How can eBay let this type of thing happen? We obviously got straight into chat and after 30 minutes of back and forth and evidence swapping, eBay finally agreed to reverse the decision and refund us in full, casually mentioning that the buyer had also been refunded too. So in one way, we were happy, we haven't lost out financially, but this guy got away with it and what's to stop anyone else doing the same? It seems to me that there is a pretty obvious issue around the whole process that eBay really need to look at. There is nothing stopping any fraudulent buyer from buying an item, claiming it wasn't in the box, and so long as they have tracking information for a return, eBay will refund them. So how many people have lost out to this? And I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube about it, and I'm part of many eBay discussion forums where things like this are a regular occurrence. And the worst thing is, it's always buyers with little to no feedback, which then really, really affect the reputation of those genuine new eBay users out there. For me, eBay really need to sort this out, and I wanted to make this video to highlight a glaring issue that is all too easy to take advantage of. Thankfully, on this occasion, based on our previous experience, because this has happened before, we knew what to do and how to gather information to argue our case. So to help you guys out, here is our checklist of things that you can do to help protect yourself against fraudulent buyers. Number one, be thorough with your listings. Highlight any flaws or faults with an item. Use all 12 photos and showcase the item correctly. Number two, keep all of your transactions inside eBay. Never agree to settle outside of the platform or any other payment methods other than when the buyer selects cash on collection. When shipping, pack your items well and weigh them. Make sure the weight is clearly shown on your shipping label and choose the right shipping type with the correct level of insurance cover for the value of the item. If at all possible, send your items tracked shipping so you have a proof of delivery should a buyer try and open an item not received case. Number four, always ship to the buyer's address as shown on their eBay order. Never ever agree to ship to an alternate address just because your buyer asks you to via a message. Number five, if a buyer raises what you feel is a fraudulent case against you, immediately contact eBay and report the buyer and the reason you feel the case is fraudulent. Number six, if you decide to correspond with the buyer, make sure you keep it professional. Stick to the facts because messages can be accessed by eBay and will be used to aid the investigation. Number seven, gather as much evidence as possible and provide this to eBay when asked. Photos, videos, receipts, everything. Number eight, remember eBay has an automatic process and sometimes things happen that shouldn't, like the label sent to our buyer and the refund issued to our buyer when we were told that that wouldn't happen. So never be afraid to appeal a decision as sometimes an agent hasn't done this and it's happened automatically and only talking to someone will highlight the issue and give you the chance to have this reversed. This is definitely a flaw within the claims process that eBay really need to look at closely to protect sellers more. Number nine, trust in the process. If you've followed all the correct selling protocols, then nine times out of 10, the issue will be resolved in your favor. At the end of the day, fraudulent buyers will always be out there as well as some fraudulent sellers. 
and there's only so much you can do to protect yourself. We all have to rely on eBay to do the right thing, but sometimes those outcomes are really hard to achieve. I honestly believe things could be better, seller protection could be better, the fact that buyers can aggressively bully sellers to force full or partial refunds, or scam sellers with open box tactics or items not received tactics, with no repercussions, just it seems absolutely crazy to me. But as I said earlier, be detailed with your eBay activity, be cautious with new or poorly reviewed buyers, and be professional in your approach, and you shouldn't have too many issues. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions about eBay scams or how to optimize your listings to protect yourself, then please drop them in the comments below and I'll answer as much as I can. My name is Matt, you've been watching The Resellers Hustle. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.